In this video, I'm gonna share three things that are more important than email subject lines for getting more opens, more clicks, and more sales from your email market. What's going on? My name is Kyle Stout, founder of Elevate and Scale. Our clients typically see between 30 to 50% of their total revenue attributed to email. If you'd like email marketing to be a reliable and insanely profitable sales channel for your business, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Now let's get into it. Why is everyone so obsessed with subject lines? Everyone loves to focus on subject lines because they are the quick and easy hacks in email marketing. So the quickest and easiest ways to get an immediate boost in open rates is using one of the go-to tricks with your subject lines, such as urgency, personalization, or curiosity-driven clickbait. And those are all great when used appropriately. However, they quickly lose their effectiveness when you use them over and over. And if the success or failure of your email marketing relies on your subject lines, then you're in a lot of trouble and you just might not realize it yet. The truth is that once someone has been subscribed to your emails for a while, the subject line has less impact on whether or not they open your emails than some of the other variables in your email strategy, such as email deliverability, segmentation, and your overall content strategy. So let's talk about these three things and how you can leverage them to double or triple your revenue from email. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is email deliverability. Email deliverability is absolutely critical to email marketing success, but the problem is that deliverability issues tend to go unnoticed until the damage is so bad that it's impossible to ignore. Email deliverability is what determines whether you end up in the inbox, the promotions tab, or spam. So if you're not paying attention to email deliverability, you can have fewer and fewer people receiving your emails without really noticing it until the revenue declines so low that you start to question what's going on. And even worse during this process, a lot of email managers will start increasing the frequency of their email sends to recover that lost revenue, which only makes the problem worse by hammering those email filters with more emails without addressing the root problem. And so there are two main ways to address email deliverability issues. The first is on the technical side. So these would be things like how your domain is configured, following best practices, such as including an unsubscribe link and the physical address of your business in the footer of your emails, and also just ensuring that your emails display correctly in different size browsers. Then on the other side, you have content and engagement. So you need to make sure you're sending emails people want to receive so that they open, click, and reply. When Gmail and Hotmail see that people aren't engaging with your emails, they start sending them, they start sending your emails to the promotions tab and eventually to spam to protect the user experience for their customers. And that leads me to the next point, segmentation. So by using proper segmentation, you ensure that you're sending the right emails to the right people so they're more likely to engage with your emails. A segment is a smaller group of people within your total email list that you've grouped together based on criteria you define. This could be things such as customer life cycle, recent engagement, past purchase history, or even demographics or location. Good segmentation dramatically improves the engagement of your emails, which helps you maintain good email deliverability and ultimately leads to more revenue generated from your email marketing. When you're emailing a warm list, segmentation has a bigger impact on open rates than subject lines, and it's not even close. The reason is that you've clearly defined who you're marketing to, which makes it easier to craft subject lines and email content that resonate with that specific audience so they're more likely to engage and buy. I've got a whole video on how to create email segments that I'll link here so that goes into more detail so you can check that out. And last but not least, the third thing that matters more than subject lines is your email content strategy. You need to have a reason to show up in their inbox. The majority of brands send out emails with a pretty photo, a couple of lines of copy, and a buy now button. Of course people don't like marketing emails, those emails suck. The quickest way to stand out in the inbox is doing something very few brands do. Have something interesting to say so you have a reason to show up in their inbox besides just trying to sell something. The reason this is so important is that we're not focused on how much revenue we can drive from one single email, We care about what we can do month after month, year after year. Email marketing is all about customer retention so you can drive up the lifetime value of your customers. That's what builds a real brand of loyal customers and that's also what allows you to spend more money on acquiring new customers than your competition because you'll know you'll get a better return on your investment. If you've never given any thought to your content strategy for your emails, then you haven't even scratched the surface with the results that you can get from this sales channel. 
to get started, I recommend uh, starting reading a book like Building a Story Brand and Developing a Brand Story that Resonates Around Your Ideal Customers. And then watch the video on my YouTube channel about creating your content pillars so you have some go-to topics to keep your customers engaged with your emails. Now you probably noticed that all three things we discussed here, email deliverability, segmentation, and content strategy all complement each other, and that's the point. As much as we'd like to rely on one simple thing, such as subject lines, to have success with email, the truth is that you need a well-planned, comprehensive strategy if you want to scale this channel up to 30, 40, and 50 plus percent of your total revenue. So as always, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you wanna guarantee that you're sending highly engaged emails that generate more sales, download the free checklist linked below called Win Before You Send, and I'll see you in the next video.